Hey guys and welcome back. I wanted to show you a quick video on how you can set up Grafana with the MCP server connected to your cursor on Windows on WSL. So what a MCP actually is, it is a model context protocol, which basically allows you to take your tool, which is going to be Grafana in our case, and connect it to your LLMs, which is going to be cursor in our case again, but it could also work for uh, for some other cases, some other LLMs and uh, MCP is kind of popular right now. So it's also very likely that you can find the same stuff about some sort of different applications. And uh, the first thing that you actually need to have this working is the Grafana itself. And I've installed it locally, as you can see, 127001 um, on a Docker, on a WSL. So here is my uh, WSL console. And I'm going to tell you like straight ahead, the setup is going to be my setup is like I have a cursor on my Windows and I have Grafana server and Grafana MCP server in Alma Linux, which is into WSL. And if you have this setup a little bit different, uh, maybe you have the cursor on the same machine, same Linux or whatever as your Grafana server and MCP server, then uh, just the manifest for the JSON is going to be a little bit different, but we'll talk about it shortly later. So if you want to install Grafana, basically just Google install Grafana and install Grafana Docker, probably going to be easier. And the first link is going to show you run Grafana with a Docker CLI. There's a bunch of all sort of different explanations. We don't actually need this for tutorial. So what you're going to do is just uh, smash copy button here on a Docker run uh, and go to your Linux CLI, copy paste the command. So Docker run minus D port 3000, name Grafana using the image Grafana, Grafana Enterprise. Click enter. It's going to take like a minute or so and you will have your uh, Docker container running. So that would be the first step. Then you need to actually go to your Grafana. And in Grafana, you need to navigate to uh, administration, users and access and service accounts. So click here on a service accounts and you actually need to create a new uh, service account like this. Call it uh, cursor testing as example. If we talk about roles, you need admin, like if you want to do everything that a uh, official mcp server allows you're going to need admin permissions so choose role admin click create and then you need to add a token add a service account token um, don't bother i already have them because just i have everything set up already on my computer but you're going to need a token expiration date depending if you need it or not but just uh call it cursor testing generate token here it is uh, you can save it in some notepad or just keep this window open because we're going to need it uh, in our next step. But just just keep it because you're going to need it later. So when we have this set up, uh, we can basically start uh, installing MCP server for the Grafana. OK, so here is the actual command how you can start the Grafana MCP server, not the regular Grafana on Docker on your virtual machine. I will copy paste this uh, to the description. I'll try to remember that uh, so that you don't have to do that. Um, let me go back here. So Docker run minus D. So have a DML list port 8000. 3000 was for Grafana. 8000 is going to be for MCP server. Uh, environment var variable Grafana URL for me, it's localhost 3000, depending on how you're running your Grafana. And Grafana API key, uh, this is the token that we just generated. So this one, copy to the clipboard and go here, put it in Grafana API key environment variable, then MCP slash Grafana and uh, minus T streamable HTTP. Um, yeah, so click enter. Again, it's going to take a minute or something to install. And after that, if you type a Docker PS, you will have two containers. One is MCP server for Grafana. And the second one is Grafana Enterprise, which is the actual Grafana um, server itself. So that would be it for the Grafana installation. The next thing is uh, to integrate all of that stuff with a cursor. You actually need a cursor. 
If you don't have it, then go to thecursor.com. And if you don't want to pay for it, there is also like a free version, which includes one week pro trial, limited agent requests and limited time completions. For me, just for the testing, uh, that's fully sufficient. If you already have some sort of subscription, well, better for you. So once you have a cursor, uh, open it. And let me move it to this screen. Let me do it like this. There we go. Uh, you're going to need to go to File, Preferences, and uh, Cursor Settings. In a Cursor Settings, you need to find Tools and MCP. Where you have installed MCP servers, you're basically going to click New MCP Server, and then this is the MCP JSON that you need to provide. Um, yeah. That's what works for me. So we're using Grafana uh, just because my Docker MCP server and Grafana itself is located in WSL and a cursor itself is on a Windows host. We cannot use like Docker directly. At least I did not find a way. So we're basically using a TCP protocol to communicate from the cursor to the MCP server. Uh, here is the Grafana URL. Make sure that it is accessible from your Windows server and Grafana API key, which is, again, the same token we just generate, generated here and the same token we used uh, to start MCP server for the Grafana. After that is done, just click Control-I or Control-K uh, to start a chat and you can trigger mcp.json and say list all dashboards. Click Enter. It's going to start planning next moves. Going to do some stuff in the background, like file to execute tool list dashboards. Planning next moves. We're going to have to wait for five seconds or 10 seconds. Depends. So uh, this is done. And as you can see, I've added another command because first of all, it answered me just in a plain text. I told like put them into the, into the table. And that's what we have, dashboard list. Uh, here are the UIDs, titles, MCP input, testing cursor, URLs, and uh, URIs and URLs. And we can go to the dashboard itself, uh, go to the dashboards, and you can see we have MCP input and testing cursor dashboards. All of them show some sort of the data. Um, so that's verified that it works, and we're going to just try to do another stuff, uh, create a duplicate dashboard using uh, MCP input dashboard and call a new one, uh, subscribe, click enter, and then again, allow MCP uh, to do the job. And now this is finished. We can see the call itself created a duplicate dashboard named subscribe from MCP input, new dashboard details, uh, all the information, full URL. We could click here, but we can also go to our Grafana, refresh the page. And here is the subscribe dashboard, which is the clone of MCP input. And it also has uh, some automatically generated data inside of it. So that's how you can have fun with a Grafana MCP. Uh, let me know if it works for you. If you have any questions, thank you guys for watching. See you later. Bye-bye.